guys. So um, here we have uh, the second part of our little demo for um, this project for week two of um, Digital Learning Days. And what I've done here is I made our mug and I demonstrated it from school. Um, sorry, my dog is making noises. And then um, I came home and I sat out on my back porch while it was super nice out and I sculpted my dog's face on the side of the mug. So you guys already hopefully watched the video where um, I demonstrated how to create the mug and the handle. And this is gonna go over kind of a quick tutorial of how you could um, make the um, decorations on the side of the mug. So this is part of the assignment that you do need to have some sort of decoration on the side of the mug. This is just my quick example of what I did, okay? But I'm gonna give you lots of other examples um, for what, what you can do. So this is how I got started. You guys saw the mug um, that I made at school. I kind of went through with that Starbucks um, gift card and I really smoothed out the edges and the sides. Uh, my, my pot had gotten a little bit drier than I would have liked it to be um, just from bringing it home and stuff. So um, I also made sure that I slipped and scored everything on to the pot. So um, here's my dog <laughs> on the left hand side and there um, is the beginning of my pot. So you can see that I started with her little muzzle um, and I kind of protruded that part out of the mug. Um, and I, again, I slipped and scored that on there. Um, you can use a fork um, and just, you can see the little water um, dish that I had back there that I just slipped and scored that little um, piece onto the surface of the pot. And then I started adding different features. So then I went up to kind of create a bub nose. I added a little bit more clay. I put a little bit more clay down. Um, I rolled a little ball of clay and cut it in half. Um, to make the nose of, of my dog. Um, and then I did the same thing here. I rolled two, uh, another coil, or, excuse me, I rolled a little ball that was more like oval shaped. And, um, and then I, sorry, my TV just started. Um, and it won't pause. Um, and uh, I, so I rolled that ball and I cut that, um, little ball in half and I used one um, side from the ball for each of the eyes okay and so then I flipped and scored those in place of where I wanted the eyes okay um, and then I added kind of extra hair around um, kind of just showing her bushy hair around her face not quite ears <laughs> you can see here in the background <laughs> Um, and then, um, I, again, I flipped and scored those on and I kind of smoothed them out. And you can see that I'm, I'm really kind of pushing the clay into the mug as well. Um, and then that's the final version. I also went through and you can see our, um, where the muzzle was. I kind of cut into it with a knife um, to kind of make it look more like hair and not just one soft surface that was rounded um, by making the little um, pieces of hair looking things coming off. It kind of made it look a little bit more like hair. Um, not the best uh, dog mug that anyone has ever made, but um, I thought it turned out okay. Um, so here is my dog mug next to my dog. <laughs> Uh, she was not interested at all in it, but I thought it kind of looked like her, maybe just a little bit. So anyway, this is one example of a kind of a face or a mug that you could create. Um, there's tons of other ideas that you could get on Pinterest. So basically the assignment again is you're going to make that basic mug shape that I made in the first video, and then you're going to add something to it. Whether that is like me, I added the face of my dog um, and kind of went out of my comfort zone a little bit on that one. Or you could add a cool, crazy emoji face or a face kind of like this. Or you could take inspiration from animals and you could make kind of an animal mug. These are just some examples. There's tons of different things 
Um, really, this is a very optional assignment as to how you want to create this mug um, and what you want it to really look like um, animal or um, person wise. So check out Pinterest, go to Google. You guys can find some great ideas on things and animals, faces, something like that that you could create. Um, on the side of your cup. Again, um, you can really choose to do whatever you would like for this assignment as long as there's some sort of additional uh, additional element to the mug itself, like an animal face or a face of a human. Um, my dog obviously wants way more attention right now. So anywho, please email me for any um, tips, tricks, or anything like that if you have questions. Um, you can, again, find resources on Pinterest and Google. Don't forget to sign in for attendance. Don't forget to um, send me pictures or put them in your turn-in folder and show me your amazing inventions on Flipgrid. Miss you guys. Hope you're all doing well, okay?